Welcome to Roguelike Dolls, episode 15 with Molly. We're playing Binding of Isaac Repentance. What are we gonna do today? Oh, maybe it's a Femboys episode. Um, doing some vocal warm ups just so that I don't uh, smash my chords in. Uh, but you could smash my chords in if you know what I mean. Maybe we'll do a challenge. Um, we unlocked Demo Man, which I think is pretty fun. We got a seed for you, MKNB2QLT. Uh, I don't know if you can just do custom challenge seeds, but you know, if it strikes your fancy, there you go. The uh, gimmick of this challenge is that you have a fancy hat. And you need to win despite being preeminently distracted by the fanciness of your hat. It's called hat mode. Hardly anyone beats it, but I'm kind of different. I, you know, I don't let the fashion blind me. I didn't have a proper haircut until I was, you know, 20, 22, 23. So you, you can't fool me with these, uh, with these wild optics. Um... What are we hoping for on this run? Uh, not worth it. We're not doing that. We have infinite bombs. Uh, a, a key for a bomb is a, a terrible trade. Um, this, on the other hand, is very good. We got two matchsticks. Um, now with 100% more matchstick. We're just gonna blow up everything, cause... Why not? I enjoy blowing up things in this game. I think this challenge is probably even easier than like, you know, it was in the base release of Rebirth because now bombs are so much stronger in Repentance. They like increase the damage to be something like, I don't know, twice as much and they have armor piercing, so. We got a lot of good stuff, and we're just going to mom's heart, so not too bad. I think it's possible that this item specifically got some special bomb scaling, which is fine. Amnesia, don't care. We don't need maps where we're going. Easy come, easy go. Anyway, the wind blow doesn't really matter to me. We're going down. Good at blowing up those pots, but I don't think that's good entertainment. Uh, things that I think are good at entertainment. I think Letter Kenny is a pretty good show. Um, big fan. I think it's funny how they talk. I think uh, the crude jokes are good. I think uh, I think it's nice when dudes punch each other. I think there's a lot of things about it um, that just work for me. Um, it gives me extremely bisexual feelings when I when I view it. I. I don't think like there's an ensemble cast that I find more attractive physically than uh, the cast of Letterkenny. But that's neither here nor there. Um, what else do I like? I think King of the Hill is a good show. I think uh, a lot of people sort of misunderstand it. Um, I, I think you can't really understand King of the Hill unless you get that Hank is basically like he has extremely liberal politics but he fancies himself kind of a you know rough and tumble texas conservative but you know the truth is there's lots of shit that he just doesn't like kind of give that much about and he has kind of it's kind of pure base like um uh, what's the word for it? Permissive attitudes towards a lot of the, like, kind of moral, um, I don't know what you would call it, but the kind of, the moral foibles, if you will, of, uh, you know, life in America in 2005 or whatever.
got into the store. Um, we don't really need a charge. We'll take one of those. We'll take one of these. We'll take a key. That was just fine. You know what? Get over here. I don't know why we're being so uh, stingy. Uh, I don't think there's anything on this floor that can really help us. Um, neither of these are that great. I think the de uh, the Empress gives us a little bit of move speed, so we're gonna take advantage of that. But uh, most early bosses should be extremely trivial to take down. Uh, not not that I have any trouble, you know, taking down anyone you uh, catch my uh, single on Tundra. What do we got? A bunch of stuff that we can't really use. Fear shot's not useful. We're gonna go for some angel deals. I think we want defense. That's gonna carry us to the finish line on this challenge. Um, we'll take the devil and we'll get out of here. I could take the devil if you know what I mean. Beat him in the video game Binding of Isaac. You fucking pervert. Um, what? What else do I think is pretty cool entertainment? I think uh, Alice in Chains' album "Dirt" is extremely good, but you know the sort of whiny emo part of me wants to say that like, um, "Jar of Flies" might actually be my favorite. Um. Of Nirvana albums, it, you're gonna, you know, call me a hipster or whatever, but uh, Bleach is is my pick. I think it's the most raw, which I, again, Grant is like the most kind of. Oh, what what term do I want to use for that? Uh, it's a re at least not very original music criticism. We're not. Like, uh, we're not pushing the boundaries, but, you know, sue me. I, I like the, I like the Cure. I like the Smiths a lot. Um, I like Phoebe Bridgers and all the, like, varieties of sad girl rock that exist. Um... I think that's all very good, very good music to listen to. Worth it. No hesitation, range, uh, not very beneficial, but we'll roll with it. Oh, you know, um, I think Black Sabbath is perhaps the best metal band ever to exist. Um, I'm, I'm not like the most, um, wild Metallica fan out there in the whole world. I'm not like You know, that's actually better for us, but we're not gonna roll with this cuz It greatly affects our fire rate is the problem. Uh, if we will we'll take Jera. That's more interesting. Um We have enough bombs that we don't really need matchstick. And in fact, it might be detrimental because I think matchstick might give you bombs at the expense of some other consumable, but I don't really know. Yeah, I mean, like, I like early Metallica, but I don't really like their more recent stuff. Um, which I, I don't think is a very interesting, again, or clever music criticism. I don't think... I think it's like a common way to view it. I don't really, I don't think that Metallica's newer stuff is bad or like that bad. Um, and I think they wrote like Kill 'Em All back when they were, you know, children, uh, basically. So they were much angstier and more aggressive, and then they became old men, and then were writing music that reflected a voice of a, you know, 40, 40, 50 year old man and not a child. So it's probably good that they grew up or whatever. Or maybe they didn't grow up. They just started writing, you know, boring music and lost their edge. But uh, it'd be a little weird if somebody was, you know, writing music for like five decades and, you know, they didn't change or evolve at all, right? 
Like, what would that say about him? Nothing good. Okay. Um, I don't fully understand how this trinket works. Sometimes it seems like it, uh, it will take trinkets down with you, and sometimes it doesn't. We're, we're for sure mushroom hunting this time. This is the time. We're 15 episodes in, and we have not yet seen magic mushrooms, so... You know what? Time to... Time to pay the mushroom fiddler? A baby? Nothing. Nothing. Eat donkey shit, loser. Um, we're, we're clearly very confident with the amount of, you know, trash talk we're putting out in this run. Oh, jeez. Um, good entertainment. I watched, um, Grey's Anatomy this year, like, one and a half times. I didn't, I didn't finish the series the second time. That sounded, you know, kind of painful to me, but, uh... I watched it at least one time all the way through, and I thought it was pretty decent. If you, if you just need some, like, a lot of television, and it works for you, there's a lot of seasons. And I, I can respect that about a television show. Like, if on some basic level you can enjoy something, um, sometimes it's good for there to be, like, 20 seasons of it. Really? I just have no idea at this point. It's like they knew that we had a, had infinite bombs, so they made, like, more interesting secret room placement. Hold on to this Jera forever. My hopes is we find a like a Hierophant card or something and we can double that, or we find a second Yera and a Hierophant card and we can double both of them. Not quite good enough. Range up pill. Range up. I don't mind buddy in a box. You know, I was, I was being quiet to focus, but it didn't help me, so maybe, you know, maybe I'd be more in the zone if I didn't, you know, shut, shut up. Impossible to say. Who do we got? Uh, the Wretched got a slight movement speed up in this expansion, if you are familiar with the speed in, uh, kind of, like, the Flash version of Binding of Isaac. Uh, he's restored to much closer to his former glory. I don't know if it's the exact amount, um, but, you know, definitely more intimidating. Well, that was horrific. Um, I don't think, I really don't think we need those soul hearts anyways. Um, a nice attack speed upgrade from uh, that item, whatever it's called. Big fan of it. Got some nice health. Uh, we got a devil card. We still don't care about that much. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll go with it. I'm realizing that we probably could have been like bombing our way through every room, but that's like not what I'm about, I guess. And I'm just, I'm just not gonna like skip a bunch of gameplay for no reason. 
Like, it's it's supposed to be, like, kind of a goofy, like, fun run. Like, why skip over the meat? This whole situation. Dang. You guy's tanky. I'm a bit of a tanky myself. <laughs> Got him. Um... Welcome to the communism video game hour. Um, I'm not that much of a communist. Um, I don't really know what I am. I just think capitalism is like not good. We should, probably shouldn't do it. I I I, I should say I find um, elements of uh, both communist and anarchist theory uh, convincing. And I have uh, a lot of respect for, um, you know, uh, uh, both both traditions of anti-fascist uh, resistance in the world. We're doing real good on speed now. Um, let's go get our Jera rune, which we dropped foolishly. I guess we're gonna fight Mom on the next floor. You know. We didn't get that much health up, and that's probably the only thing we really needed in this run to pull off a victory, is just lots and lots of health. Bomb immunity also potentially would have been a good get. You know, I don't know why I'm doing that, but it's probably to get some soul hearts on the ground. We'll call it that. We can get some soul hearts going on the ground. Then we can use Europe, end up with a lot of soul hearts, and kind of coast through the end of the run. Uh, and we got one. Nobody's complaining about it. Um, Yara. Pop it. Two soul hearts, just fine. We want that was actually intentional. We do want the tick. I think it's uh, kind of underrated. Um, moon, we'll just go with right away. Actually, where's that temperance? You know what? Temperance doesn't do that much for us. We're gonna pop it. What do we got? Friends till the end. Give me that. Okay. Chariot. It's fine. Um, I want that moon card. I guess we have a second temperance here. Moon, moon, moon. Where's my temperance? Here we go. Temperance. Not very useful. Um, so we're gonna go moon. I don't know what we're hoping for here. I guess spiders. Um, moon, big room, chariot probably. Empress. We'll just pop that right away. Kill this guy, run away from that guy. You know, a single bomb upgrade in this run would have been nice, but, you know, we didn't have treasure rooms and we weren't exactly doing, like, full clears, so, I, like, that basically precludes the two methods uh, where you could traditionally find a, um... We'll bomb that. Like, I know we could have played it, but I don't think we need to. I think we can. I think we can just keep going. Okay, this wasn't the way to go. That's fine. We have a Dracula baby. That's very scary. Or our enemies. I'm not freaked out. I would never admit to being afraid of a Dracula. Don't need it. Might go for those, though. Yeah. It's just me and Buddy in a box. Um, who, might I add, is hardly ever in a box. Like, right at the start of a run in a box after that. 
Not a chance. You won't find that guy in a box. Oh my god, speed strat. Okay. Calm down, get out of here. Okay. Mom fight should be no problem at all. Only gonna have to hit her like 80 times. Just fine, we have more than 80 bombs. You know, episode 15, I think we finally got to the point where we're getting um, pretty good at that mom fight. We'll go to our devil deal first. Um, no, thank you. Um, take a peek at that. Nine, none of these seem so good. I'm like 85% sure if we pick up anything in this room, we have to do boss rush. And I'm not seeing anything that looks that worth it. Um... I think even if we got a black soul heart on the ground and we picked it up, we'd have to do boss rush. We'd st we'd still have like an option of an item to take, but yeah, we'll, we'll go for this. We're just cruising along, staying frosty, you know. I think, yeah, obviously. Am I, am I the greatest Binding of Isaac player of all time? No. But, you know, part of, part of the fun of a channel like this is observing sort of the growth of the host over time at the game, right? So, like... I won't be falling for as many tricks, but you know, if I never fall for the tricks, then we can't really establish that broad narrative arc that is, you know, essential to providing, you know, meaning and uh, sort of uh, that. What am I? What am I trying to say here? That uh, that really important indefinable quality of like life and its moments it's like when you play like grand theft auto and you use all the cheat codes to get the the best car and it like it basically the game has a 30 minute timer before it becomes totally boring like i don't i don't think i'd want to play a game that i was extremely good at unless you know somebody could challenge me at it like like a speed run or something of that nature that was bad we're gonna give that another shot there um we could be skipping rooms i guess But you know, my mom, my mom didn't raise a quitter. I, I suppose. We're gonna save justice for the boss fight. That was uh, a pretty dangerous situation. This boss uh, goes down pretty easy if you have. Um, we're gonna go for it. Um, if you have bombs, because the bombs will most of the time stop him in his tracks. Perfect. Uh, we could backtrack for a health, but it's a long way and we'll do it if we need to, but uh, until then, uh, come on. We will do it. That's a little, um, that's close enough for comfort for me, I think. 
Uh, yeah, sure. In case you're wondering, uh, that item that we have are activatable is called Boom, and if we press it, bombs detonate immediately wherever we press it, uh, and our normal bombs are, are like, uh, our fancy bombs will, like, that we use as our tiers will never detonate, or no, opposite. The ones that we use on, as our tiers will detonate eventually. Um, after like a little bit of time, usually I prematurely detonate them by like, uh, you know, as soon as they're close to a target. Gotta get rid of these guys from the- oh my god. Go ahead and do one of those. Get in there. Don't want to take any more damage. We might- might farm some of these poops just to get a little bit of health. We are feeling pretty vulnerable. Not, not my best moment in gaming. Oh, our, our shot, our uh, tears rate's actually extremely frightening. I've been sort of tactically placing bombs and then, you know, letting them rip, but it might just be better to, like, extremely let them rip. Uh, perfect. That's exactly what we needed, not health. Oof, 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 oof. All right. Got some clots. I don't know what that was about. Oh, I think it's our baby. They have like some kind of mushroom based tear effect. Um. Oh my god. You know, that was actually somewhat profitable, in a way, I think. Um, we'll go in the big room. Got some pins. Lots of needles. They were, um, sort of biding their time to strike. Much like Iron Man. Um, the monster from Black Sabbath's song, um, Iron Man. Blue Brain is what sapiosexuals get when they haven't, um, had sex in a while. Uh, tip your waitresses, I'll be here all week. Uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be mean to the sapiosexuals, but, you know, they probably wouldn't get the joke anyways. Ah! I need to get, like, kicked off of YouTube for that one. I apologize. We got just just the boss on this floor really. We're close. We can't we can't eat like a ton of shit during this uh this Isaac fight. Or this uh I guess it's not an Isaac fight, it's a um mom's heart fight. But we're not we're not in a terrible position for four hits is plenty. Assuming we get there with full health. Uh, as per usual, I'm mostly only nervous about the very beginning phase of the fight. Hello. I guess we could just go like this. And then go like some of that. Alright, well I could get close and then ah I forgot that I had to trigger it eventually I think it would have been perfect timing if you know I had normal bombs but sometimes you forget the rules 
Which is why I, I've always said, um, I can't believe I took, didn't take damage there. Um, no, it's why I've always said I don't think anything should be against the law if you don't know the law. I also don't think anything should be against the law. Um, no, I think laws are, are good, or at least like having rules probably in society is a good thing. I'll admit it. No, it makes me uh, kind of a radical. Um... Yeah, give me that red heart. I don't think we need to kill the red skulls. We just need to kill the phalanges or whatever these are. Perfect. We would love a little bit more health. Um, but we're in no position to complain. Alright, that's ideal. Um, bomb. Dude who gets killed by bomb. This would have been kind of a perfect run to do a little bit of investigation work into, like... Can I not get in here? How dare you? Um, can I do it if I come back in? No? The heck? Doesn't help us. Um, I see like no outcome where we do any more of this floor and have a better shot at killing this boss. All right. Phase one done. That is the easily the most dangerous phase of this fight for this build. In my opinion, at least. Uh, alright, that good. Profit. Alright, we need we need to deal with that guy somehow. That's a perfect way to deal with them. Um our bombs in the center of the map should at some point. Help us get that heart. Uh, once this gets going, uh, we can sneak in there. Get a quick hit on him like that. Finish him off with a standard bomb. Easy peasy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get new notifications about, uh, you know, when we go live. Uh, hit like or dislike, depending on your affect towards the episode. And in the comments, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, actually, no, I'm disabling comments on this video.